Hi, this is Brittany from Hand to Mind. This is our Teach at Home math video series. This is week nine, day two. Did you know that when we tell time to the half hour, you might hear people say something like this. It's a half past two, or it's between two and three. Or you may have even heard someone say 2.30. Those are all ways to express the idea that we are telling time to the half hour. So come join me today to understand why we can say time in that way. Why can we say that it's a half past two? See you soon. So today we're going to begin with that number line again. So the other day when we did telling time to the hour, we talked about we first showed that a clock is really just a number line. And so here's that same number line again that we saw the other day, right? And so we notice that even on a number line, you can see the zero to 12. But what if I was to ask you this question? Where is halfway between two and three? Would you be able to show me or point to me where halfway between two and three would. So you know, when we think about half, it means that it's gonna be split into two pieces. Where would be half between two and three? Hmm. I wonder if you are all pointing about right here. This is about halfway, would you agree? So here's two, here's three, this is right in the middle. Yeah, so when we're halfway, we're right in the middle. So what if I asked you, what's halfway between five and six? Where would you point? Yeah, you'd point right here, right in the middle between five and six. That's halfway. Well, today we're going to be talking about what happens when the hour is halfway between two different hours. So let's go back to looking at our clock face. So what we did, remember, is we just took that number line and we made a clock face. And notice, where is my hour hand? That's the short hand, and in this case it's red. It's not always red, but in this case it's red, this short hand. Where do you notice it? It, it's located. Yeah, it's right in between the two and the three. So we just said that was halfway. Well, when our hour hand is pointing halfway between two hours, it has, we have some names that we call it. So sometimes we could say that the time is we could say, well, the time is halfway between two, between two and three. That's a way to say it. Some people say that we could, we could call it, well, if it's halfway, then it's half past two o'clock, because remember it started at two o'clock. It started exactly on here at first when it was two o'clock. And then some people say, no, you could say, another way to say when it's halfway is to say that it's 2.30. So there's lots of different ways to say when you see this hour hand halfway between there, okay? So that's talking about the hour hand when we're talking about the half hour. So we're gonna introduce a new number line today. You're gonna notice that this number line looks a little different. It doesn't say one to 12, does it? Nope, it doesn't say one to 12. But what it does say is you can see that it starts with, it starts with five or it starts actually with zero, and then it goes five. Can you count by your fives with me? Five, 10, 
15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So this number line counts to what number? 60. Could you tell me where the middle of this number line would be or the halfway point? So if I split it into two equal pieces, where would the halfway point be on here? Can you point to it? How many of you said right here? So if I took this number line and I split it right down the middle, that's where you would see two equal sides and it would be right here. And so what number is the halfway point? Huh, 30. I think I just heard that a while ago. Well, okay, let's just keep that in mind that the halfway point on this number line is 30. Okay, so what I'm gonna ask, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna watch to see what happens to our number line. just happened to our number line. We just made that into a clock as well. Oh, that's very interesting. Do you remember what? Do you remember us talking about the blue hand? Yeah, that blue hand, the long hand, that was telling us about the minutes and remember that when it's on the 12 it's actually on the zero minutes because it hasn't started its journey and that's when we say o'clock so what we want to do today though is what if it starts to make a journey where would the halfway mark be where would the halfway mark be how could I take this clock face and divide it in half? Could I go just like this? Yes, and then that halfway mark would be right here, wouldn't it? And so how many minutes will have gone by when it goes halfway around the clock? Well, let's count. So instead of counting by ones, we can count by our fives, right? So here's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Didn't we just say that on our number line that halfway between when we, when we saw that number line, it was stretched out to 60, that the halfway point was the 30? It's the same thing on the clock. So it has halfway around, round. So how many minutes total go is the whole clock? So we're at 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So this minute hand turns all the way around the clock and there's a total of 60 minutes. 60 minutes. Do you remember that other hand that went all the way around the clock? The hour hand did too. So when it goes from one to two, that means that this minute hand has traveled 60 minutes. Huh, interesting. But today we're talking about what happens when this minute hand travels halfway around the clock. That's the halfway point, isn't it? The 30 minutes. Interesting. So let's take a look at this clock and see what time it is. So let's think about how we started this lesson out today. We started this lesson out just looking at the hour hand. And notice, is this hour hand exactly on the 10 or exactly on the 11? No, it's not. So it's not 10 o'clock and it's not 11 o'clock because it would have to be exactly on one of those. Hmm. But what I do notice is that it's exactly halfway between the 10 and the 11, which means that it's 
half past 10, or it's halfway between 10 and 11, or it's 10, and now we can bring in our minutes. What did you notice about the minute hand? It, it, it started traveling, so it was here. Remember how it started here on the o'clock? But it traveled how, how far? It traveled halfway around the clock, or this says the minutes, so it's 30. So halfway between 10 and 11 is going to be 10, we could say it's 10, 30. That's a way to say the time. Or we could say that it is a half past 10 because we've gone halfway around the clock. Oh, that's really interesting. So let's look at some clocks that don't have red and blue hands. So let's pay attention to where the hands are and see if it helps us give some clues. So if I look first at this hour hand that was our red hand, first thing I'm gonna look for and see is, is it exactly on the nine or the 10? And the answer to that is no. So I know it's not an o'clock time. But what I do notice is that it is halfway between the nine and the 10. So that tells me right there mm -hmm. that it's halfway between nine and 10 or a half past nine, right? Now I can look at my minute hand and see if it started that journey, which it did. So it started here and it went from here to here, so it went halfway around the clock. So that's why we can say that the time is a half past, what did it just pass? It's a half past nine. That's one way to say it. But another way to say it is to say that half past nine is the same thing as saying that it is nine, 9.30 because what we're doing here is we're naming those minutes. It's 9 because we haven't quite made it to 10 yet, right? We just passed 9, so it's still the 9 hour, but it's halfway, so it's 9.30. So let's try another one. Let's go back to that shorthand. I'm gonna check that out first. Oop, it's not exactly on five and it's not exactly on six. What I see is it's halfway between five and six. Nice. So if it's halfway between five and six, I can say that it's half past five. Then I can check out what happened to my minute hand. Ah, uh, it traveled halfway around, that's why I can say a half past five. But I also could say it's not quite six, so the hour is still five. And if I wanted to name the minutes, how many minutes? I remember this is five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So it's 5.30. Let's try one more. So again, Pay attention to where's your hour hand pointing. Well, it's not pointing at two and it's not pointing at three. It's right in the middle. So that tells me it's a half past two. It's a half past two. Now I can make sure that's correct by looking at where's my minute hand. Well, it started here and it traveled all the way here. So it traveled halfway or it traveled 30 minutes. So there's my hour of two. There's my hour of two. Let's see, 2.30 or I could say it's 2.30. So today, we've been talking about that time to the half hour. 
So we're gonna play a little game right here of which one do you think doesn't belong? So let's look. So right here we have half past 12, we have 1.30, 12.30, and then what is that clock right there saying? Hmm. Oh, I see. I looked at this hour hand. It's halfway between the 12 and the 1. Right there tells me it's a half past 12. I can check that because I can look at this long hand. This Has it traveled half the distance? It sure has, which is that. That makes that half past 12, or I could say it's 12.30. Hmm. So which one do you think doesn't belong? How many of you said, well, if all these are showing 12.30 or half past 12, then this one doesn't belong. Yeah, I bet you somebody said that. But I wonder if I was to say this time is 30 and this time is 30 and this has 30 in it, does this one have 30 in it? No, so somebody may have said this one doesn't belong. I wonder if anybody said this one doesn't belong because this is the only one that shows a clock like this. Everything else it has in words. Yeah, when we play this game, there's lots of different reasons why something doesn't belong. So it doesn't always mean there's only one right answer. So today we've been telling time to the half hour. So if you'd like more activities on this, please go to handtomind.com where you can find more activities to help you telling time. Hope you all have a great rest of the day.